Hi guys, my name's Emily. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a bluebird. So I've sold out of this one. I've got one left. It's my, it's not a bluebird. It's a yellow tit, but it's it's blue and it's yellow. So I've called it a bluebird, but it's not. So this is my one that we're going to do today. This one is really popular as well. This one's my bluebird. <laughs> this one's really awesome. I love it. I love drawing chunky birds. This is pigeon. This is pigeon. This is a really nice black and white theme. I really like this card. This one's a really popular one. Swan. I love the flamingo just because it reminds me of the zoo. I love the zoo. Um, whips and aids, it went out really well. And this one is also really quite cool. Okay, so today all you're going to need is a pencil, chalk, paper and a rubber. You probably don't need chalk, you can just anything to colour in is fine. Okay, so first of all, all you need to do is, we're going to start off with the head. So if I just have a little quick look and to show you. So this one, okay, but I'm drawing it the other way. So we want to do a head. So you're going to do a shape that looks like, I'm going to draw it more than once around just so you can see, but it's like a jelly bean. Everything's a jelly bean, basically, when I draw things. So there's your jelly bean. And on that jelly bean, you're going to need a triangle. So a little bit like a carrot, a weird carrot, but a little bit like a carrot. Then, because the beak opens, you can just do a little line, a little line. Then you want an eye. Now, I always think big eyes on birds look really nice. Maybe not. You could do any eye. You could do a cartoon eye. But it goes roughly there. And the good thing about eyes is I like to do like a little bit of white. So I would probably colour it in now with your pencil. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter to be honest because you can create whatever you like. So then it's got this really cool... You probably can't see, can you? It's got, do you know what? I'll put it down because it's probably going to annoy you, I'm sure. I'll put it there just so you can, just so you can see it. <laughs> right, it's got this little line so touch the top of the beak and you're gonna go da da dee and then you want to touch the bottom of the beak but go up 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 and then da 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 you don't need to put this in for the bird if you don't want to it doesn't have to have it and then la 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 don't touch all to the end just do a little bit then you're going to give him a really chunky stomach. This is what I really love about birds. They're not all chunky, but I, I really like drawing a healthy, chunky bird. So you're going to touch that bit there and go down. So just down a little bit. Then you're going to create the tummy. Like, like big tummy, better. In this case, anyway. So once you've done that, you're then going to touch the back. So touch the back of the jelly bean. If you can see where I'm touching it, and then go oh, about there, there's fine. And then you want to round off the edge, just round it off, round it off, and then you're going to go, whoa. If I've done that too fast, don't worry. Once you've rounded the edge, just make a really nice wing. It's like, well, it's like a big curve. Can't really, I was gonna say you can't go wrong, but I'm sure we all could if we do it. Anyway, so moving on. Now we're gonna do the tail. So touch the curvy bit there and just go da da dee. And then the tail's quite long. So you're gonna go off the page. My tail is off the page. And then we want to just do this. We want to just touch that bit there and just go da da da, -da and then da da da. Doesn't actually matter. They're just lines. They're just lines. Just think of everything as lines because otherwise it gets quite scary sometimes. This is the feathery bit. So you could just do a wobbly line if you like, just a wobbly line to finish it. And then what you need to do, which I haven't got to, because uh, you need something to rub out. So we're going to, whatever I, right, I'm going to squiggle, you've got to rub it out. So we're going to touch that bit there, and you're going to go down. So then you're going to rub out this line. This is what we're rubbing out. See if I can do it with a, a chalk. I mean, I'll give it a whirl. Okay. 
Oh, by the way, yeah, I've got a bird on my arm. I really like birds, as I'm sure you can tell if I've got a tattoo of them. But but there's something awesome about birds. It's like they're free. Okay, so moving on, we're going to do, I'm just going to do a line there and a line there. Just to make it look a bit like it's fluffy. I quite like doing lots of lines. I'm going to do a little, little line there. All that is, is it's a different colour to the bird. I don't know if you can see the white bit on the bird. Then we want to go into the legs. So you're going to do something that looks like, it's just like a rect, well, it's a very long rectangle and it's starting inside the stomach. Then you do another one, la la la. And then you're going to have some clawy bits. They're, because they have to hold on to a branch, you need it to be quite, like a witch's finger, like if you can't do it, don't worry. As long as you've got something that looks like, I suppose they're a bit like wobbly chips. Mm. Okay, so then you want to draw him or her on a twig, because I quite like drawing them on something. I didn't on this one, but all you have to do is just do a line there. You're going to draw through the legs. And remember, twigs just got loads of different bobbly bits. So it's on the twig, because lots of people draw it away from it, but it's on the twig. Okay, let's colour it in. So the first thing you need, to, you can do any colour you like, to be honest, but mine's yellow and blue. I really should take the plastic off so you can see it. But mine's yellow and blue. So we're going to start off with... A little bit of yellow. I'm using chalk. Chalk pastel. Do you know what? I'm just going to put it there because I'm going to forget otherwise. So there's my bit of yellow. If you're doing watercolour pencils, that's cool. Bit of yellow. I'm not going to do white. I'm going to choose two blues. Ooh, I've just found another blue. Look, that one's awesome. That one's kind of similar. And that one, yes. Okay, so I'm going to do the dark blue because it turns type of a green and I quite like it. So the good thing about colouring in, if you can pretend you're not a child when you're colouring in, so all I mean by that is not everything's one colour. So I've done the yellow there and there and there. I haven't coloured the whole thing yellow, there's no need. The blue, I've coloured the dark blue in patches. So try and do it like that if you can. If you can't, doesn't matter. Just It's just, a, just an extra tip. Okay, now I'm going to take my number, like, two blue, I guess. Two blues. And we're going to do it next to it. So just a few blobby bits. None of the face is blue or yellow. Okay. Then my last light blue. Da -da and the light blue, I'm going to do there. So can you see that everything's a different kind of blue? Although I've made a bit of a mistake because there's got to be white. Okay, now we want a grey or a black. Interesting. Interesting. Let's do this one. Right, this is a black. Right, I've got to be super careful here. I'm going to do a little bit of black there. Just trying to show you there. A little bit of black there. The beak is black, but we can just go around it like that. The eye colour this in black then near the wings black a little bit under there's black obviously if I'm going too fast pause the video I just didn't want to take too long for you to see it and then now think about underneath the bird there's going to be a bit of shadow so a little bit of black there these little wobbly chips are black Sounds not very yummy, does it? Wobbly chips that are black. Then you're going to do a balloon. You're going to do brown. And you're going to go... Da -da -da. Now, a twig's not just brown, so we could do brown and then on top, like a yellowy colour, just on the top layer, like there. Done this really super fast, but you can obviously add to it. You can do clouds in the sky, you can do hills. There's this awesome technique that I'll show you next week that's kind of splotting. It's almost like Jackson Pollock thing, but it looks really cool. And that's what I did on my card. I literally threw white paint onto the blue. It looks really cool after the blue dripped down. Anyway, so then you get your one little finger, one little finger, 
and you're going to smudge not everything you're only smudging in to make the line soft it's a bit super tricky this is it just looks more oh man you've got to wipe it on don't wipe it on your top but as you can see my tops specially designed i basically bought a top and said that's my art top so if it gets messy it's okay okay so okay and then you want to do la 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 and as i say you can take your time you can use watercolor pencils paint whatever you like there's my yellow tit and I'm, I'm gonna check this up i think it's a yellow tit but there's my bird looking awesome have an amazing sunday everyone next week i'll be doing i don't know what i'll be doing but i think i might show you that splotting um, and also i've got my book so buy my book if you want to and subscribe like and share and i will see you next week Mwah.